morning everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome so i am obviously starting another vlog today i don't really know <clears throat> honestly i don't know why i plan my weeks anymore because days happen and then it just doesn't doesn't stick to the plan to be honest uh, i don't even think i've opened my planner i've kind of just gone with the floor um today's going to be a revision day but um the weather is so nice that i was like you know what i'm gonna get out now get some walks in um run my errands and then just do like revision from like late afternoons through to like bath time because <clears throat> you can't trust the northwest weather <laughs> so the fact that the skies are kind of blue um and the sun is trying to come out it's just like just just go do it now otherwise it'll rain later and then you won't do it so <clears throat> sorry i think this is the first time i've spoke this morning um i had a slowish start to the morning which was quite nice yesterday was such a long day at work and i had so many patients and so many treatments and wearing that ffp3 mask it's exhausting it's really exhausting i'm on like day three of a dull headache i am thinking that it's hair fever i've taken puritan twice today so far and it's only 10 30 but we'll see i haven't put a jacket on either i've just got on like a t-shirt and my hoodie because when i walk i tend to get quite hot so i'm hoping that i'm not going to be cold but we shall see i'm expecting an exciting delivery today so excuse me i'm so sorry um so i can show you that when i get home i'm thinking I'm going to do my first errand now, then I'm going to go for a walk with my mum, then I think I'm going to go home and drop my car off and then go for my walk, another walk, and then get walk to boots and pick up my order. And then I was thinking of just taking a, split, a quick to Morrie's to see if they've got my spread in stock, just because I am... I'm not even a quarter, I'm kind of like a quarter of the way through for a jar and I just know I'm going to be so upset when I finish it again. But I can have on my porridge with the stuff, I am aware. But I've been living my best life since I got that back. So, that is pretty much some of the plan of the day and obviously revision priorities. Exam is T minus, what like? three weeks away now I think um so yeah my brain hurts and I'm scared I'm scared over three miles done I ended up walking to boots I mean driving to boots because me and mum ended up doing a longer walk now what I thought we was going to be doing it is 10 to 3 I'm so hungry all I've had is my porridge my fiber one bars and then a packet of crisps and my x50 green tea and i'm really hungry like i was so close to getting a mcdonald's put it into my fitness pal and i was like right, right, right. no i've not done it i'm driving home now um i'm trying to think what, what do i want to eat what is going to satisfy me I just don't know. I just don't know. So I'm gonna go into the kitchen, try find some inspiration. Um, I just what do I want to eat? Oh my goodness! What is all this traffic? I'm so confused. I'm not gonna go to Morrison's because it's like I said, it's late, and if I go to Morrison's, I'm late. I'm gonna end up buying a packet of cookies. I have no willpower when I'm hungry. None whatsoever. Um, so I will just go and see if they have my spread tomorrow after work. Because I'm actually, oh, there, I'm actually staying at home because 
step away from weighing and tracking everything and being more of an intermittent no not intermittent intuitive eater um, which is eventually what I want to do I don't want to have to you know calorie count for the rest of my life I mean to be honest I don't find it that hard and but you know do you want to be taking a weighing scale with you everywhere no yeah one day i will get there but that's fine um so i'll show you what i got from boots it's really not a big order it's not, it's not that exciting but you know i'll show you what i got and my other delivery okay so i'm home so i thought i would quickly show you what i got before I come with some revision. Oh. I thought it was a but I'm not. I just have to rip it. First thing I got was a comb. <laughs> I honestly have no idea where my comb has gone. Um, not a clue. So I just picked this one up. It was not. I didn't actually pay for this order because I had a voucher, so it was free. But yeah, I just picked up this comb and I'm actually going to, I feel like I've got a hair in my lip. Uh, I can't have to get it. Right, I don't know. Um, I'm going to be dyeing my hair extensions um basically <laughs> i'm gonna be getting my hair done in a few weeks and i just want some blonder pieces i like the color it actually looks quite blonde there to be honest i like this color as my base obviously we need to get rid of these roots i like this as my base but i want some proper blondes um so i know i shouldn't but I am going to bleach the ends of my hair extensions because I want to create like that balayage sort of effect. Um, and I figured it was better to see if I can lift those rather than buy new hair extensions, especially to get the effect that I want. There's just not, it's just not going to happen. So I also got a comb that had this on for when I'm leaving. I am going to do an Olaplex treatment on my extensions this week. And then I'm going to use the professional stuff from my hairdresser. And then I bought this, well I didn't, again, use the voucher to get this Aussie three minute miracle because I thought after I've bleached them, I will obviously <clears throat> wash them with my Olaplex shampoo and I thought this would be nice just to pop on um, as like a treatment for them because they're not going to be happy or they have to be in bleach, let's be honest. So I picked those two things up and then I've been up obsessed with Sammy Robinson again I don't know what it is with me and Australians but yeah and she used this and I was like I'm intrigued I don't know I'm really enjoying the Dove um mm, 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 gradual tanner and I do also have the Bondi Sands Aero which I I do I'm gonna actually put that on um because I want to see how I feel about that colour um, I have actually given my mum my hiccup, sorry, filter by Molly May just because I feel like it's a little bit too warm toned. And that's my polite way of saying orange. <laughs> um, I don't like a tan that makes me look orange. I just want to look tanned. And my mum is red under, undertoned and I'm yellow. So to her, it's better. Anyways, 
and that Dove one gives me a nice glow in the orange. That's why I like the Dove one. And I did put a bit of the Aero on. Mm, I can't remember when, but I felt like I liked that colour as well. So I'm going to give that another go. But Sammy used this in a video and I was like, I'm here for it. And it's the Bondi Sands Pure Sleep Mask. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin C. And also it's for your face. So... I am all for trying a face tan, but I just don't want it to break me out. I did put that Dove one on my face and I was all right. So, oh, the my dad's got someone coming to look at the drains. It doesn't smell like tan, um, but I will give, I'll give this a go tonight and you'll see what I think my first impressions of this tomorrow. When I used it and then to put it on, I just got a new mitt. Um, I just picked up the same amount one. I just got the cheapest mitt I could, to be honest. Uh, just because um, this mitt I use for the Dove and the Bondi Sands. I just didn't really want to put like that on my face, you know? So yeah, that is what I got from Boots. And then my other delivery... Who are you talking to? It's the drain guy. Oh. The man needs to put his, drain, his van up in front of where my car is, but your car would have to move as well, so I'm sure he knows what's going on. Oh. So this purchase was totally influenced by Connor. If you didn't know by now, another Australian I'm obsessed with, Connor. Honestly, I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis or later life crisis. I don't know, but I, I honestly feel like mentally I'm 24, 25 and I'm really not. Um, and that's fine. Actually, I feel like because we've been in lockdown for nearly two years, I'm old two years, you know what I mean? But anyways, Connor was wears a shoe similar to this but in all white I'm an all black gal so I just felt like the all white just wasn't for me and I saw these and I was like I like them and I was like no spending van you meant to be saving getting out of debt you want to move out like no don't do it and then Max bought himself a new pair of shoes and I was like but they weren't spending he's like yeah but they was on offer hair blah 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 and I was like hmm then Tony said Darlis bought said shoes, but again, she got them in all white, and I was like, that is my sign. So, <laughs> it is Connor, Tony's, and Max's fault that I bought these, but just, just... I know, I know, I know, like Lashana. I have put like three pairs of my other trainers on Depop in the hope that someone's gonna buy them to make these guilt free but we'll see but anyways like I said I didn't get the all white ones Ooh. because I just felt like they weren't very me but these are them I must say they they're definitely they're definitely more grey than black I thought they were black um, we'll see. But maybe it would be nice to have the grey and it not be black. I don't know. Did I want them black or did I want grey? They look quite dark on camera there. But this is what I got. I got the junior size because my feet are small-ish, average. So they weren't as expensive as what the adult ones are or the women's were. I don't think I want a black. I think I did want black. I might just have to send them back. Oh, but they fit. I don't know. Do you think it's nice to have the grey instead of black? They definitely are grey, not black. Yeah. 
Yeah, bright gray. Mm. It's just because on the black ones that they had, they actually look like they're a bit thick. They look like that. Yeah. Um, on the black ones that they had, this bit was still white, I think. And I like that that was dark. So I'm going to have to have a look. See how I feel. But I did pick those up. But we're going to have to see. I'm going to have to see if I can swap them. But yeah. That is everything that I bought. But they are comfy. Um, so yeah, I'll have a quick look on the website now and see um, if, a, if there is black ones that have a black sole. But yeah, they do look nice, they look cute. So that is what I bought. Um, and I'm just going to crack on with some revision now. So that's been boring. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, we're keeping them. You can't get black ones with like the darker sole, so these bad boys it is. Apologies if you can hear the rain, but it's so wet and grey today, and I just knew there was going to be no other chance for me to show you in daylight. <laughs> um, but this is the face tan, it is such a natural shade, and it's such a boo boo on my hand. So I'm going to have to try to fix that because that's awkward. This one isn't bad, but this one, wow. Um, but yes, I think Bondi Sands is my favourite town. So, yeah, here's my natural town. <laughs> so, I my own pizza. So I've got my barbecue chicken on top. Don't know if that was in this vlog or the vlog before. So yeah, barbecue chicken, a bit of mozzarella and a bit of cheddar. And the base is only 39 calories. And it's by the brand Low Lodo. Hey, presto, pizza party Friday night. <laughs> 